50% high pilot, self-bailing, double ramp floors, easily converted to nine-person use, it's the state-of-the-art whitewater raft. Pointed bow for punching through the big stuff, shorter water line for tight drops, eight-piece bow and stern section, extra D-ring, plenty of... Well, with all the accessories and that... How much, Fletcher? The 6,500. The best of Leo. I know it's a lot of money. Well, we finally agreed on something. But we need a new boat. We got a boat. Jack, it's 15 years old. It can't compete anymore. Compete with who? You? Jack, the business has changed. People expect more than a class three tingle. If we don't keep up with demand, McKinnon might as well hang it up. All right, I'll bite. What do we call demand? I can ring you up here. Ride the monster with McKenna Outfitters, the ultimate whitewater thrill. Phil Deke printed it up for me. Pretty slick, huh? The monster? Suicide shoot. <laughs> You're crazy. It's way too dangerous. With our boat, yeah, but with a self-bailing floor and a more stable center point, it's real doable. This is what people want, Jack. They want to feel like they're living on the edge. People want to feel like they're coming back alive. Do you have any idea what a class five would do to the edge? I did the shoot yesterday. It was awesome. What you do on your own is your business. What the guests do is my business. We'll stick to the tingle. Russell just bought one. Uh, you used to go with his sister, didn't you? telling a story about women and rivers and how they were a lot alike. Something about dangerous curves and unseen currents. I didn't know what he was talking about then. I do now. When you lose something because it's been taken away from you, it's sad. When you realize you've given away something that you should have kept, it's tragic. I know it's not healthy to dwell on things that might have been, but sometimes you just can't help it. Especially when there are women and rivers involved. So restock the firewood in each unit every day, and be sure you knock before you go in. Um, if you're here when they arrive, you can put their luggage in the cabin. We okay so far? Right as rain. After um, a tour, either Jack or Britt will let you know what equipment needs to be cleaned and put away. And they'll let you know what needs to be ready for the next day, too. You weren't my first choice, Walter. When we decided to hire a, an extra hand, it was Brick who fought for you. Well, that Brick. We have a lot of money invested in these cabins. I'll bet you do, Fancy. It's really important you make the best impression you can on the guests. So no more spitting. They're just not used to it. And it might be a good idea, actually, if you didn't... Um, well, they're here to relax. So if you could keep your opinions and observations to yourself. Basically, don't talk to them. Okay. Oh, Walter. Welcome aboard. Ma'am. Word for word. Pat, would you finish cleaning? I have homework to do. It won't take you long. Word for word. Russell Gibbons stole my idea word for word. Ride the monster with Gibbons Outfitters, the ultimate whitewater thrill. 
You said McKenna. He said Gibbon. That's not word for word. That's not word for word. All he did was replace our name with his. That's still not word for word. That's still not word for word. Would you stop copying me? Would you stop copying me? It's still stealing. Mom said I, I put Mr. and Mrs. Del Pazio in the Camelo cabin. Uh, Mr. Reynolds is in the Klamath and his daughter's in Rogue. Grandpa Jack, hey. make him stop. She's about your age. Harry, quit. Could I ask him? Sister and eat your breakfast. Well, I'm not asking you to become her best friend. Just show her around a little after school. Set up a couple of tours. Shouldn't have Bill D. draw it up. They're friends. He showed it to Russell. You want to take out the Whitewater tour, or you want to take Russell to court? Let me know. Yeah, I got to organize my week. Russell is going to make a lot of money off this, Jack. We're all going to be sorry. Mr. Del Pazio doesn't eat meat, so I thought I'd make a vegetable lasagna. You know, no sense in making something different for one person. They're eating with us? Where did you think they were going to eat? Cabins. I mean, that's what we built the stupid things for, isn't it? You know, eating, sleeping, the usual things you don't do with strangers. I saw Maddie. She's in the truck with Russell. Did she see you? I don't think so. Well, what did Walter have to say? Uh, he'll start tomorrow. He understands the rules, I think. Starting what tomorrow? Walter Maddox, our new permanent handyman. Your brother's idea. So now Walter from Deliverance is going to be working here? Oh, that's classic. Look, is there anything that anyone else forgot to mention? You have a really big red thing on your chin. The other side. The other side. <laughs> Something I can do for you, Brick? You stole my idea, Gibbons. Pretty bold accusation. You got a patent number? Well, we both know what we know, Russell. It's all that matters. Well, then, the question is just what do you want to do about it? You figure to kick my butt? Because if that's it, we can get to it. If not, well, I just consider imitation to be the sincerest form of flattery. I don't think she's much interested in seeing you, Brick. Can't blame her now, can you? If there's nothing else, I'm kind of busy. I'm getting ready to ride the monster. Maddie. set up here. Every unit has its own uh, bath and fireplace and you need to use the phones or you just come on up to the main house and use those lines. When do we make our first run? Tomorrow morning we start in a class four called Little Dipper and I guarantee you'll get more than just your feet wet. Well, we're not afraid of a little excitement? Glad to hear it because we got plenty of it around here. While everyone else is on the river, uh, would you like it if my daughter were to take you to town? Oh, that's okay. I'll just stay here. Hey, it's your vacation too, Heather. I know. I want to stay here. I have a lot of reading to do. Which one is your bag, honey? Oh, the red one. I uh, should have figured the heaviest one, full of beauty aids, fashion magazines. Walter. Huh? Excuse me. That was a really dumb idea to go there. Well, maybe the dumbest. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. Well, you weren't, buddy. You can at least make a polite attempt to disagree with me a little. Yeah. What were you expecting, anyway? I don't know. Bad move. Yeah, pretty much the worst. I'm thirsty. Nothing for me, thanks. 
What do you want me to do? We have plans, Brick. Those were your plans, Maddie. Did you ever say that they weren't yours? No. Why not? I wanted to tell you. Oh, but you didn't. Because I didn't know how. She knew how to leave. I didn't leave because of you, Maddie. Well, you sure didn't stay because of me either, Brick. When I heard you were back, I was going to come to you. Natalie wouldn't splendor in the grass when she came to warm Beatty. Oh, it sounds so stupid. You always thought those things were so stupid, didn't you, Brick? That's what I was gonna do. Be polite, gracious. But then you came to see Russell. I didn't come to see Russell. Didn't matter anymore. It wasn't Splendor in the grass, it was me. Just me. I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. When you get back, Lee will have one of her more substantial feasts all laid out for you. You'll be hungry, I guarantee it. You want to see what's keeping Rick? You want to watch out for those suck holes. Talk to me, Maddie. I don't know what to say. I don't even know what's going on. What do you want to go on? I don't know. It's weird. I know it's weird for me, too. Just see me at least. Let's talk about him. I deserve that much, don't I? You don't deserve anything, Brick. Do you want me to hang up? Meet me after the run. You know where. go accelerate into them because if you try to backwater when you're going into all right, it, grab all right, let's do it. and uh, suck you right under. Careful, Dad. Mm. That's some fun, huh? Yeah. We'll take good care of it. Good. No problem, you know. I've got to finish this book. Right. But thanks anyway. Sure. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Where are they going? Experience the ride of your life. Woo! 